high. In this modern era of healthcare services, clinics and private practices must have mobile app to better serve their patients. With Kiwika mobile app, you can carry your clinic in your pocket. So in this video, we are going to see how to set up our Kiwika mobile application and connect it with our WordPress plugin. So let's start our tutorial by seeing the file zip that we get when you purchase the KiwiCare application. So you can see this is our file. So we will firstly unzip it here and then we will go into it and we have the three different folders. So the first folder is for the documentation in which you will get the documentation of KiwiCare. So you want some information, you can go and just have it from there. Then the second is our Flutter code in which you will get this Flutter zip which you can unzip and use it in your android studio then the third is your plugin so in that you have this kiwicare api plugin that you have to install in your wordpress plugin before starting the app so it can get connected so this is the folder structure that you get when you purchase kiwicare app now let's move to our wordpress dashboard in which we will log in with the admin panel in the KiwiCare and in the plugins you can see that our KiwiCare plugin is already added and I have also added this JWT authentication for WP APIs that you have to also install with the latest version by just searching it into add new of the plugins and install it first. I have already done it, you have to do it too. Then we will add our KiwiCare API so for that we will go into the add new and we will upload plugin so i will just go into my folder and select the kiwicare api zip and just click here and you can just install your zip now you can just activate your zip which will take some time according to your system so just wait for it to be done and after the process is done you can see that our kiwicare api has been activated our jwt authentication is also been activated so now it's done for the installation so now let's go to our dashboard settings and in that we have this prema links so we'll just go into that option and you can see here the custom structure is default selected but we will select the post name as we have used this post name into our url base url in the app so if you use this post name it will make your further steps flawless and you can easily do things in your app so we'll just select this post name and we will save the changes here so now let's go to the files and in that we will go into the flutter code and you can see we have this flutter zip we will just copy it and take it to the another folder i want to make a copy of it so it don't get messy here and i will just unzip it and in that folder you can see we have our flutter files now we will go back to our android studio and we will open the studio so it will take some time according to your system so just wait for the android studio to open and once it's open you can just simply go into the this open button you can just click on it and then you will select your folder for the kiwi care and in that you will select this kiwi care flutter option and you can just select it and click on ok now it will open your workspace in the android studio and this is how it looks and, our, and once it's open, we have to enable our Dart support. And for that, we will go into our files. And in that, we will go into the settings. And then you can see in the language and frameworks, we have this Dart option. So we'll go in it and enable this first option. And then you can select the part for this SDK. And I have already set it. You can change it if you want it somewhere else. And after that, you will also checklist this project flutter option and then we will click on apply and select ok so your main dart will be enabled now now we will go into the pubsec.yamin and in that we will run the pubget so the pubget will run it will take some time according to the system so let the process be done and once the process is done we will go into the tools and in the flutter we will go into the flutter theme and we will just clean the flutter code from here this process is done now we will go into the tool again and in that we will again run the flutter pubget and we will let the process be done and once it is completed we will go into the flutter option in the drop down and in that we will select this time flutter pub upgrade and we will let the process run again and it will take some time too so let the process be done 
so once the upgrade is done we will go to config.dat and in that you can see we have this domain url which we have to add for the wordpress so they can get connect the app and the wordpress plugin so we'll just go to our wordpress dashboard and we will copy this server link and we will paste it into this domain url and i will just remove the last part that i don't need and then we will change the base url which is the important part you have to change it to connect your app and your wordpress plugin so i will just write the dollar and domain url so it will get connected with the system so firstly we have the app name that you can also change we have split our name in two section as we have changed the font style you can change it if you don't want to change it you can keep it there then we have the default language which is in english you can change the language into your preferred language then we have terms and condition url privacy policy url support url code canon url mail that we have written ours you can change it if you want to yours and in the end we have the per page which is 20 you can change this all information if you want in your system and after that we will go into our popsec.yamin and we will launch our application which will debug your system and it will take some time to do that so just wait and don't hurry too much it will be done and when it's done it will show you this notification and then your application is set up in your system so this is how you can set up your mobile application and connect your mobile application with your wordpress plugin and use this app seamlessly in kiwi care so don't forget to get the kiwi care and try our free demo today